Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Sa mga sudyante naman dyan, magandang araw sa inyo. Happy New Year! Sa ngayon, itutuloy natin yung review para sa paghahanda sa darating na examination. This is the first uh, question. Could you be the Write a polynomial function in standard form which has zeros 4i, negative 4i, and negative 2. The question number one. So the solution will be first if we are going to write the given zeros into x plus 4i then times quantity x minus 4i times quantity x plus 2 equals 0 and then we will uh, multiply x plus 4i times x minus 4i so the answer is x squared minus 16i squared times x plus 2 equals 0 and then multiply the binomials so we have now x squared plus 16 times x plus 2 equals 0. So plus 16 because the value of i squared equals negative 1. The negative 1 times negative 16 equals positive 16. Then is equals to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 16x plus 32 equals 0. So since the question is, we are going to write this in a, into a polynomial function, so the final answer will be f of x is equals to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 16x plus 32. So you are going to write the exponent in descending order. So that is the answer for question number one. Proceed now to question number two. So we have given the solutions of an equation are x equals 3, x equals negative 4, and x equals 2 over 3 or 2 thirds. Determine the equation in standard with integral coefficients. Let us uh, show the solution. Question number 2, we are going to change x equals 3 into a binomial, x equals negative 4 and x equals 2 thirds. So this is the solution now x minus 3 times x plus 4 times 3x minus 2 equals 0. And then, multiplying the uh, binomials, we have x squared plus x minus 12 times 3x minus 2 equals 0. So we multiply x minus 3 times x plus 4, so the answer is x squared plus x minus 12. And then, multiplying the trinomial to a binomial, so we have now 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 36x minus 2x squared minus 2x plus 24 is equal to 0. Then, we will combine here similar terms. So, just copy 3x cubed, then plus x squared. So, we got x squared. We just simplify 3x squared minus 2x squared. So, the answer is x squared. Then, minus 38x from negative 36 minus 2x, so the answer is minus 38x, then plus 24 equals 0. So this is now the uh, final answer because the question is, we just only find the equation. But as you will see, the exponent is arranged in descending order. Question number 3 of our review. So the volume of a rectangular solid is 640 cubic units. The width is 6 units more than the height and the length is uh, 3 units more than 5 times the height. Find the dimensions of the solid. So how are we going to solve this uh, question? Of course, uh, we should know the formula of the uh, how to find the uh, volume of a rectangular uh, solid. In question number 3, so this is now the solution. So 
the formula V is equals to L times W times H. So volume is equals to length times width times height. Given volume is 640. So width is X plus 6. Length is 5X plus 3. Then H is equals to X. So in this uh, question, so from the given, so we let the height is equals to x. So that is why we have the length 5x plus 3 and the width is x plus 6. So uh, this is now the solution. By substitution, we have 640 times 5x plus 3 times x plus 6 times x. Then 640 is equals to 5x squared plus 30x plus 3x plus 18. So we multiply 5x plus 3 times x plus 6. And then simplifying this, so 640 equals 5x squared plus 33x plus 18 times x. So 33x because we added 33x plus 3x. And then, 640 equals 5x cubed plus 33x squared plus 18x. We just only distribute the x to the trinomial. And then, we will uh, transpose 640. So, it will become now 5x cubed plus 33x squared plus 18x minus 640 equals 0. So by using your scientific calculator to find the uh, solutions using EQN, so we will get this answer. X sub 1 equals 3.40192325. So that is the complete answer. And then X sub 2, we have negative 5.00096167 plus 355i. So it means... The answer is imaginary. Then there's a negative sign. And then X sub 3, we have negative 5.000961627 minus 355i. So again, still imaginary but still have a negative sign. So in solving uh, this question, so we will get only the positive answer. So therefore, the value of X here, so we will choose X sub 1, which is 3.40192355 so that is the answer so meaning that is the height so the height is equal to 3.40192325 units then to find the length and the width we just only uh, replace the value of x so therefore the dimension now we have the length we just uh, solve the length here by multiplying 5 times 3.40192325 to 5, 5, then plus 3, so the answer is 20.00961628 units. Then for the width, we will uh, add 3.40192325 plus 6. So the answer is 9.40192325 units. So therefore, the dimension now. So H is 3.40923, 255 units. So that is the value of X. So that is that will be your height. Therefore, the dimension of the solid is 20.0096 units by 9.4019 units by 3.4019 units. So what I did is I round off up to four decimal places. Or if you want, you can... Uh, write all the decimals uh, so that uh, your answer will be accurate but I am going to accept this if you are going to write it up to four decimal places so this is now the final answer okay let's proceed now to the last question of our review about problem solving so question number four the volume of an ice cream cone is 124 0.48 cubic units if the height is 4 units more than the radius of the cone so what are the dimension of the cone so use pi equals 
uh, 14. So let us uh, show you the solution of this question. So in question number 4, here is the solution. The formula uh, V is equal to pi r squared times h over 3. And then uh, given uh, V is equal to 128.48, then H is equal to X plus 4, then R equals X. So in this case, uh, we let X be the radius, then the height now will become X plus 4, based from the question. Then the solution will be 128.48 uh, uh, equals... 128.48 equals 3.14 times x squared times x plus 4 over 3. Then simplifying this, we will uh, remove the denominator by multiplying the terms, all the terms by 3. So this is now the result. 385.44 times 3.14x cubed plus 12.56x squared. And then this is equal to 3.14x cubed plus 12.56x squared minus 385.44 equals 0. So we rearrange the equations. We just transpose 385.44. Then using your calculator, this is now the result. You are going to use EQN in order to find the value of X. X sub 1 equals 3.9335145514. Then X sub 2 negative 3.966752. X sub 2 equals 3, negative 3.9667572.57 plus 3.933i. And then x sub 3, negative 3.9667572.57 plus 3.933i. So x sub 2 and x sub 3 are imaginary number. Then the sign are negative. So we will uh, choose the answer x sub 1 because the answer is uh, positive here. So that is the value of x now. And then... The radius is equal to 3.9335145514 and the height is equal to x plus 4 so it will become now 7.9335145514. So therefore, the dimensions of the cone are 3.9335145514 units by 7.9335145514 units. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig dyan sa mga estudyante ng lalo na sa lahat ng grade 10 so happy new year po sa inyong lahat that's all for today's uh, review so may karugtong pa yan about uh, Descartes rule of sign so abangan nyo so that will be our uh, last review okay guys once again happy new year to all of you